Time is running out. After eight hours of talks, there's still no agreement on Greece. Prime Minister Lucas Papademos and party leaders were due to ratify austerity measures to secure a 130 billion euro rescue package. But in the early hours, they left the negotiating table without an accord. Papademos is now in emergency talks with Greece's international creditors. Our Europe editor, David Tweed, joins us. David, we're having this conversation again. This time, though, it's pensions that is a sticking point. It's interesting, too, because we were talking yesterday about how probably these leaders would go up and take the maximum amount of time available, and that's certainly what they're going to do. EU, IMF, ECB, those talks finished at 6 a.m. this morning, as you mentioned. Everything agreed, all but one. Pensions reform. There's a 300 million euro hole to fill. Will they fill it today? Presumably they will, and the action moves away from Athens. Now we've got that uh, European uh, Eurozone finance ministers meeting that's taking place at 6 p.m. Brussels time. Then the creditors, the private creditors, they're going to have a meeting in Paris, and then of course we've got the European Central Bank meeting today. And will we hear from the ECB on whether or not they will write down the value of their Greek holdings? Very interesting to see whether we'll hear that, that or not. Chances are they're not going to write down the value of their holdings. The question is more related to whether they will actually sell them at cost on to the EFSF or, or the, the rescue fund. That's obviously something that we're going to be asking Mario Draghi about. Mario Draghi, this is 101 days he's been head of the European Central Bank. He's been very busy. What we've seen is the ECB really in a very short space of time have really pulled out all the stops. You know, it's not just been the LTRO, it's not just been the interest rate cuts. There have been a whole suite of sort of policy initiatives that have really sort of exhausted the central bank toolkit. And I think that speaks of somebody really drawing on a lot of experience and deep understanding of the financial sector. He really has had quite an impressive 101 days or 100 mm, days. He's very popular, isn't he? What to watch out for today because we're not expecting any interest rate decision. Watch out what he's got to say about the growth prospects in Europe and also about credit growth because we've seen some disappointing bank lending numbers out. A lot of people are concerned about Despite that. these cheap loans from the ECB. Exactly. There's a risk of that credit crunch. Okay, David Tweed, our Europe editor.